Okay, hi guys. I'd usually do a proper vlogmas intro, but I had the dumbest idea and I want to do it right now while I have the idea. I don't even know if this is going to work out. I don't know if this is actually going to be tomorrow's video, but if it is, welcome to 15. Anyways, I've been having a lot of fun with ChatGPT chat and I want to read my friends a Christmas ChatGPT story without telling them it's from ChatGPT. Okay, so we're undercover right now. They don't know that I'm filming. If they say anything proper, then I'm going to like not do this into a video, but I'm going to try and see how this goes. I'm going to tell them that I wrote the story, Chad GPT did. I made it have so many Taylor Swift references because I thought that would be funny. I'm burping. I'm so sorry. This is not planned. Anyways. Eef. Guys. I'm Hi, Sam. Um, Hi. I'm in. Yeah. yeah. Hi. Um, Hi. I, I, I wrote a story. I was wondering if I could read it to you guys. It's a Christmas story. Fair enough. Cool. Can, I'll can, allow it. Yippee. Fabulous. Can I, can I read you guys? Okay. Um, yeah, please give me your honest reactions to it. I beg of okay. you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Once upon... My reactions are nothing but honest to you. Th that's... I hope that's a good thing. <laughs> um, it's... Okay. Once upon a snowy Christmas Eve in the charming town of Evergreen Hollow, there lived a young woman named Juliet. She had a heart as expansive as her Taylor Swift final collection, and her cottage was adorned with fairy lights that twinkled like stars in Taylor Swift's music videos. <laughs> Juliet's days were a symphony of Taylor Swift tunes, each song weaving its way into her life like a soundtrack. She often found soulless in her melodies of All Too Well, or dance around her living room to an upbeat rhythm of 22. Her love for the holiday season rivaled in Joy and Taylor Swift's voice when she sang about December nights. But amidst the festive cheer, Julia, Juliet's heart carried a melody of its own. She longed for a love story that echoed the heartfelt ballads of Taylor Swift. The romance soared higher than the notes of love story. And passion burned brighter than the flames in red. <laughs> One frosty afternoon. Julie, as Juliet hummed a blank space while strolling through the town square, her gaze fell upon a mysterious stranger. His name was Gabriel, a musician whose presence smelled like a chapter ripped from a Taylor Swift song. They bonded over their shared love for Taylor Swift's music, strumming guitars by the fire and harmonising to lover as snowflakes danced outside. Their love story unfolded like narratives from Taylor Swift's album, tender, passionate and sprinkled with the magic of the holiday season. Yet, as Christmas drew near, a storm brewed in their paradise. Gabriel's band received an offer to tour the world, beckoning him towards the fame and fortune, leaving Juliet torn between supporting his dreams and holding on to their love. In a twist of fate, Juliet stumbled upon an old journal in her attic. It belonged to a woman who once inhabited her cottage. The pages whispered as a lost love, echoing the haunting sentience sentiments sorry, of Taylor. I just thought of sentient monsters from Miraculous, I'm so sorry, um, of Tales of Music. Um, sad, beautiful, beautiful, tragic. The parallels between their stories left Juliet in an eerie contemplation of fate's cruel whimsy. On that fateful Christmas Eve, as Gabriel stood before her with dreams tugging at heartstrings, Juliet's eyes brimmed with tears. She felt like a, ch a character from Taylor Swift's last kiss, understanding that some love stories have an expiration date. With a trembling voice, she quoted Taylor Swift lyrics, each one a bittersweet melody of love and loss. <laughs> Amidst the falling snow, sat by the window, a melancholic symphony of Taylor Swift melodies plays softly in the background. She realised that some chapters in life closed a quiet gaze, leaving behind memories akin to Taylor Swift's nostalgic tracks. And so, on that tender Christmas Eve, Juliet learned that even the most beautiful love stories sometimes fade into winter's embrace, leaving only behind only the echoes of what once was, much like a Taylor Swift song echoing in the silence. The end. Kill me. <laughs> that was... That was Bam. very... If you could ever be <laughs> flashbanged with words, that is the feeling I get. <laughs> it was beautiful, right, guys? I was so bad. <laughs> I, wrote, I wrote a poem about it as well. It was one of the stories of all time. I made me want to know if you tell us what you read. <laughs> That's... I can I love you. But please. Take therapy. <laughs> Do you guys want to hear? I wrote a poem about the story if you guys want to select it. No. That one. No. <laughs> please. No. Please. No. <laughs> if you love me, Never. please. If you love me, please. I love you, but not that much. <laughs> no, but it rhymes. Please. 
So did that. Please. Doesn't I'm... mean I want to hear it again. No, please. I beg of you, please. I for, do for enjoy me? some light begging. <laughs> for, for me? Would you do it for I'll me? I'll consider it. I'll can consider I, it. No, but I, I have it in front of me, so can I can I do it now? Bye. Yippee! Okay. It's about the story that I just read, so you guys already know the twists. In Evergreen Hollow, a tale unfolds where Juliet dwells her heart of gold. With Taylor's tunes, her soul delight, her cottage gleams in festive light. In Snowkiss streets, she roams each day with melodies in her heart at play. Dreams of t love in Taylor's song, a story where she could belong. Then, t then Gabriel came, a wandering soul, their harmony, a begil beguiling stroll, sorry, strumming, through sh strumming strings to Taylor's rhymes, their love akin to magical chimes. But storms brewed with their, the serene as Gabriel's dreams beckoned unseen. The choice his, mu his music or love's embrace echoes at Taylor's swift embrace. A journal found in Juliet's keep, whispers of love lost in deep, parallel tales fates in an enigmatic role, like a tale's lyrics, a haunting scroll. Christmas Eve unveiled a tender scene, Gabriel torn, Juliet serene, her tears a symphony of farewell, Taylor's words in a tearful spell, by the window snuffs, snow softly fell, aching heart, its familiar spell, learning love, sto love's stories may slowly fade, Taylor's melodies and memor memories made. Thus in Evergreen Hollow's embrace, Juliet learned of love's tra uh, transient grace, a bittersweet st tale in silence heard, a Taylor Swift song whispers word the end well that was good but i still want to kill myself <laughs> <laughs> so you guys didn't like my stories i wrote it though poem but please that's too much taylor swift <laughs> and that's coming from me who looks like off brand taylor swift <laughs> do you guys want to know something you've been pranked by the prank patrol <laughs> I, I don't think it was even a. I, I, I don't even think that was a prank. That wasn't a prank. That was torture. <laughs> I, I I think you violated some of the Geneva Conventions there. Um, I'm I'm okay. filming, guys. I'm filming a YouTube video, and I thought it'd be really stupid if I made ChatGPT write me stories and just randomly, unsolicitedly forced you guys to listen to it. Okay, at least we, you know we're very honest people. <laughs> yeah. Can I? No, we would can never I, lie to is you. This, is this cruel and inhumane treatment? <laughs> no, it's, no, it's a as cruel, as cruel is treatment. Animal, animal abuse. Cruel, <laughs> this is animal abuse. <laughs> I'm an animal. I'm being abused. <laughs> what was the abuse, Chat GPT? I, yeah, I had the random idea, and you guys were just kind of there. And then, like, the no, other, no. the other, like, Alex and all that would probably be able to tell. Okay, do you guys want to say hi to Vlogmas real quick? I haven't I put your faces. Me oh. I haven't put your faces in it. I, I was nice. I didn't put your faces in it. <laughs> I'm okay for my face to be anywhere. When I'm telling the brutal truth, it needs to be there. It conveys my emotions. Well, they just saw the beautiful story that I had to read, so. Oh, God. Uh, I see. Okay. I'm sorry for them. Anyways, you bye. need to provide them with therapy now. Bye, Vlogmas! <laughs> I'll, oh, I think I just, yeah. Goodbye, Vlogmas. I'll see you tomorrow.